hopefully this is the day you've been waiting for to get this bed off. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So as you can tell, we are in the shop attempting to finally get the bed off of the Restogen, which again, credit to a subscriber who gave me that idea to name it the Restogen since it is literally a full blown restoration project. So we got the Restogen over here and we do have the bed all unbolted. I finally got a new impact, an air impact and some better sockets, I guess you could say, to where it would properly fit around the bolt and take it off without getting stuck in crap. Much better, we're getting ready to lift the bed off. I was actually standing in there pulling the chain hoist and it started to lift it off about an inch or two. So we're going to continue to pull this off. Hopefully it'll come off fairly smooth and then that'll at least give us a little bit of a better look at the frame and what else we could be doing um, in terms of that kind of stuff before we drop the other bed on. I don't know if I'm gonna drop the other bed on right away. Let's see how much we can get this off, see if it comes right off. I do have all the wiring undone for the lights, the harness is all disconnected, the trailer braking wires are all disconnected, um, the fuel tank is not disconnected yet, like the spout that goes down to the tank, but we can get to that in just a second. So let's get to disconnecting the fuel fill up hose there and then get to lifting this baby off. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I did clean up the shop again and we should be able to get concrete in here fairly soon. I'm not exactly sure when, but fairly soon. Fairly soon is the goal. Um, we just got a lot to finish and use up some more insulation and finish the steel on the ceiling. Just a lot of annoying stuff, but now that we are not moving the hydrant, we're actually gonna keep it there since we're gonna have to keep the post there anyway. I just figured we could probably get concrete sooner and later uh, if we're not gonna have to move the hydrant anyhow. Um, but <laughs> the wife did get more, I would call them farm animals, but we're more like hobby farmers because we don't really make money off the farm. But she did get some chicks and uh, that's her gig. She bought them, she feeds them, that's her thing. This is sweet, hopefully this lifts it all off and uh, no issues. First time using the hoist, first time using the beam to pull something up off the bed. I mean, up off a truck, so uh, yeah. I'm excited, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm, a little, I'm pretty excited. And hopefully the bed's at the right angle and the chain's connected in the right point to lift it off straight. Okay, we had to make a slight modification to the chain, so let's try that again. It makes me nervous. I don't know how well those hooks are hooked on there. I mean, they're hooked on, they're hooked.
now if we can get it out without hitting the barn. is off the lift out of the barn. I gotta tell you, I did not see any flexing anyway. I didn't even hear a creak come out of that uh, beam system we got there. So, satisfied with that. I know the beds aren't really that heavy, but the beds are about the most that I'm ever gonna be lifting off my trucks. So if it meets that need, I'm happy with it. Over here, you've got the blue turds bed, Resto Gen's bed. And I would say it's for sale, but the problem is this side is smashed. This side over here is destroyed on the back half. And the bed itself is pretty beat. Literally donated to somebody that just wants it. Yeah, it's just not in great shape. If it was in like respectable shape, I'd be like keeping it in the first place, but um, it's just not that great. So I haven't even came over here to analyze the frame of this truck with the bed off. So you and I are gonna see this for the first time together. So here we go, let's look at it. Okay, we get some shims. Okay, okay, I'm gonna keep those with the truck. I'm sure there's gonna be more on the other side. This frame is actually pretty nice. It's actually pretty darn clean. It's really dirty, You, I mean, there's a lot of dirt to get off, but it's it's really not in bad shape. If I'm being honest, it's pretty darn nice. I'm gonna keep these shims, of course. I'm gonna put those in the truck. I kinda wanna get the pressure washer out and uh, clean this thing up a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna run the hose out here right now and spray this a little bit and uh, see how clean it gets in some spots. Just get a good look at it here before I spray it. Cross members are solid, look really good. No rot on the, any of the cross members at all. I mean, it, it's actually like you can see where the bed was touching the frame. You can still see black paint where it was touching. So I'm going to get to cleaning this off. Let me show you the aftermath of, I actually used my wife's horse brush for grooming the horses. I'll have to get her new one. But I uh, basically took that and I just kind of brushed it down, not here, but look at the difference. This is sprayed, I mean sprayed pretty heavily but not brushed. And then over here is just brushed and got all like the dirt off. And believe it or not, it, it is starting to actually rust a little bit, but you can still see some of the factory paint like faded away down there. Like the factory, um, especially like here, you can definitely see, I didn't get it all brushed. Like this is a lot of mud. You can see that, it's a lot of mud, uh, but just super smooth, super clean. Believe it or not, the leaf packs are still super nice and clean. Again, they gotta be brushed down a lot heavier. Here's one that was not that well clean, just kind of sprayed, and here's one that I brushed. So I mean, not perfect, but really freaking clean, especially the cross members. Um, these are notorious for rotting out, especially in between by the fuel tank. And that's not rotted out at all. I mean, this thing, I think this is gonna clean up super, super nice. So I'm thinking, how about this? I wasn't sure if I was gonna do this with this truck or not, but I might actually do a full frame work down and coating and just kind of shut the horse out for a couple days, a couple nice days when we get them, and then really work this frame down, really coat it good with some chassis saver and get this thing like, I guess not original, but like new condition before we throw the next bed on, which kind of sucks because I wanted to get the truck over to get paint work done like tomorrow basically so I can drop it off with all the good parts taken off and ready to go. I would just hate to regret not doing this when it'd be super easy to do right now. Same with like an exhaust system. We could put an exhaust system on the truck and it would be, you know, not impossible to do it like it was before, but it'll just be way easier to do that with the bed off than with a bed on. It just, it's just easier to work right side up versus upside down. But that's where we got today. The video is probably not that long. You're probably wondering like, how do you get so much stuff done in like such a little amount of time, but it's just, the editing just, I don't know. This was a two hour project almost, but it's gonna seem like it was like five minutes. But anyways, guys, that is where we are tonight. It is a beautiful, beautiful sunset. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's super pretty out. Really cold, it's about 45, but 
super pretty out so I thought it was a great day to get out and do some work on this truck anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video do not forget that if you want to win our 1989 W350 five speed manual 12 valve first gen that's not in this condition. This one will look, I mean, as good a condition as this one when we're done with it, maybe even better. But I mean, here's a 55,000 mile first gen Cummins five speed manual, four wheel drive, of course. Every $5 is five entries towards winning this truck, and that giveaway ends on May 7th. Go to lmpgear.com, get entered today. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.